Next. Okay. Um, do you want to stick with taxonomies? I've, um, I've got something working on a um, totally another branch. There's no PR for it. Okay. Um, but it's about routing and what have you, which... Um, Ooh. Is... Did you see my comments about what uh, Dodi G uh, did? I did see your comments about that. Um, so and, you know. Yeah, and actually most of this comes from one of Dodi G's other issues about what's the best way to relate content. Um, and I've got a site which I built a couple of years ago. It's this one over here. Did you write is, a PhD about relating content? Because that's about that. You need. A, I'm sure we could we could write a thesis about we, content. We, we could <laughs> maybe a thesis about that because there are so many different ways. Um, and I mean, I, I built this site before taxonomy. Before you wrote taxonomies, um, so I used the list part for it. Um, but recently I got interested in, I need to do another site. So, um, and because I was doing work with the tags editor, I thought what would happen if you built up a menu system based around taxonomies. Um, so I did. And this is a taxonomy, this is, this is the taxonomy itself. Um, it's a categories taxonomy. Um, when the site loads. Um, so in here I have a bunch of kind of just some demo categories that you might use to kind of build up a menu system or build up a routing system or build up a breadcrumb kind of arrangement. Um, and what I've done under that is then um, made some custom editors. Um, Bertrand is watching, I'm sure. Sorry? Bertrand is here, he's watching. Seriously. Ah. <laughs> well, you know, this is very much work in progress and just some stuff I've been playing with on, on the side. Um, but the idea is that for each of the kind of parent terms, um, you can then create content for it. Um, and for the actual leafs, then you can create different kind of content. Um, so what you're able to do here is have, say, an article and get an, uh, get a route for it, which, which will then give you all the terms underneath it. And then you can continue to just route through and um, get down to the actual leaf items. So it's an it's kind of an alternate way to find a way to relate a lot of content that might be of different types, um, but also get a little bit of a UI where you could actually easily browse them. There are many things here. So first there is an admin menu, menu item that can take a taxonomy. Yes. And then when you click on items, it displays the items. Then there is a create button. I didn't really get what what you said with leaves because I can create an article at every level, right? Or you can create an article at every level, but um, for, say, parent items, and, and this, uh, this applies more to the, the site that I need to build with this, to be honest, um, with the, the parent items, I'm seeing them more as a, um, a kind of a menu system to get through things. Um, so the content types will be different to the actual articles that, um, that end up at the bottom of things okay. on the leaves. A um, leaf article, yeah, that's weird. There is a leaf article and the articles. Are they, so the the term here, I see leaf article. Is that a content type? Leaf so article? That's content type. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I see. That totally makes sense because in the taxonomy, at each level, you can say what it could contain. Is that what you uh, use? Yeah, that's, a bit, that, that's exactly what you can do. Good. Um, so custom parts do that. So it seems wonderful. And then... There is a third thing, which is the routing that you implemented. So when, so now every term has a route is routable. I don't know how you did that. I, Probably I with some hacking. <laughs> That's a bit that I didn't do. Um, what I did is I made these. When you create a branch article or, or create an article or any description, um, it is its own content item in, its, in itself. So. 
and there's that bug showing up again. So all it, all it really does is it pre-selects the term. Permalink. So you created a content item that has a permalink. And then when you display this thing, it will show the items and the terms. Um, when you display this thing, it will use a, a, a custom editor to display the items. Um, so it's a little different to how it used to be in Orchard 1, where we had a route for the term, which you could do things with. This is much more of a loose connection um, because it involves creating content for each term that you want to, to display stuff for. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I looked at the implementation. Cool. Okay, let's move on to another demo then, shall we? Okay. And we have a chat about that some more. Um, I'm not sure if it's good or if it, if it actually wants to even be a PR. It's, it's, it's something that I'm working on for a, a site where I need a structure like this. It's worth a PR. I need to understand the last step, but yeah, that, that's great. I like it. I will use it. Yeah, I mean the menu system helps. It, it makes it Everything. for me. It, for me, it makes it much more manageable to actually yeah. just be able to. Say, right, here's my content. This is how it's structured. Um, it's a menu item type. If people don't want it, they don't have to use it. Oh no, no. Um, it's all based around um, a custom admin menu and. Um, a custom display editor for taxonomy, so you don't have to use it. It's it's just one way to get there, um, and maybe it works for you know. Because for example, back in in Orchard One, we used taxonomies a lot when we didn't need routing on them, when we were just using them to be categories. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you want routing, sometimes maybe you don't. Mm 